Morning folks, let's talk the realities of van life. Well, the realities of living full time in a van. So we seem to have hit a, uh, a run of bad luck again, which is just really, really annoying. So everything was going good. Some of you might remember that when we were in uh, Blackstone Edge up near Rochdale, the fridge packed up and then what you won't have seen is we turned it off and six days later uh, turned it back on and it worked fine and it's been working absolutely fine that's right chance absolutely fine for two weeks now or well, we're into our third week here now all of a sudden it's gone again now nothing's changed it's been running on gas for i say two and a half nearly three weeks and all of a sudden it stopped working again and it seems to stop working as soon as we go out and buy any food. <laughs> so we got, again, another couple of things that we got to throw away that were in the freezer. And, uh, yeah, so our bad luck started this week with poor old Chancer. Now, it wasn't his fault. The old slidey door, you know, the, the mesh net thing that goes across here because there's quite a few midges up here you might notice that there's a different one on there now because Chancer here jumped through it trying to get back in the van not get out the van but get back in the van so that was kind of my fault as well though because I said to him come on let's get in the van and uh I didn't even spot that it was shut anyway so he tried to jump through it which has broken that completely so we've managed to fit one of those magnetic uh cheap you know back door things on for the time being um because we've looked at the price of them they're 500 pounds for a, a, a mesh door <laughs> 500 pounds or near about four 495 i think <laughs> for a piece of mesh <laughs> biggest belief anyway but we did change get back to the fridge we changed i don't know if you remember that i ordered the firmister so there's the firmister that sits inside the fridge you can see the brackets rusty i changed that last night but that made no difference so that was a complete waste of time so at the moment we've got it turned off again and I never showed you this last time. This was the fridge box that we've always very dark in here. And uh, we've got that loaded up. Now uh, this, once it gets going, will keep it pretty cold. It won't freeze it, but it will keep it very cold. It's meant we've had to hook up. Oh, I can see a person. We are uh, making some changes inside the van. You all right over there? Yeah. A bit hot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, our run of bad luck is continuing because I actually think that, that unless this thing comes back on, uh, it's going to have to go. Uh, that's one of the little jobs we did. I cut this, oh, you can't even see it, can you? so dark in here I uh, cut this stall down a uh, step down that was uh, about three times the size of that because it was getting in the way now we just hop up there so it's getting thing one good thing though because it's the luck of this van life thing is up and down the diesel heater is working um but we're just waiting on some more ducting which should be here tomorrow from amazon um so that i can pipe it all in to the underneath so i've just been and had a word with rena the owner and uh, we've gone on to electric for a couple of days um because it was all working out really well off grid we weren't struggling for power only really using the power packs when I was editing because uh, 
things using the, all the different solar panels. And uh, yeah, we were doing all right. But with that uh, that fridge that we bought, that little thing, that needs to be on mains. It will run on 12 volt, but it just won't run on 12 volt cold enough to keep that. And we don't want to lose all the food this time, which we'd lost a lot last time when it happened. So what I'm thinking is, when we do change it, I'm going to call in a gas safe like a habitation engineer to come and cap that gas off there and then work out and tell me which one of these is the 240 and then just hook hook a normal uh, consumer fridge a, a 240 volt consumer fridge in and run it off the inverter uh, when we're off grid and run it through the winter we can run it on electric because we're normally hooked up anyway in the winter so so we're going to be here an extra week now which is no bother it's it's good and uh we'll be helping rena out anyway because she needs to go away for the weekend so i've said we can look after the the uh, site for her just for that weekend so that'll all be good excuse me i got a bit of a cold again um apart from that everything was going really quite well we've uh, managed to get rid of a load of stuff out of the garage um so again we're, we're getting closer to our target of being a lot lighter um yeah everything's going well we're struggling a little bit with what to do for that piece of kitchen backsplash that lorna wants me to do because we just cannot match up that wood in there you know we can't find any vinyl that will match it or anything so i think what we're going to do is we're just going to i'm going to cut a couple of pieces of six mil ply and then we're going to have to uh, put some fake tiles over them just to make it sort of blend in and stuff so that's that's looking like that's probably the way to go with that um the only problem with being on this campsite is everything is quite far away Just a random gust of wind. <laughs> um, yeah, everything's quite far away. It's like 28 miles to Hamilton, to the nearest B&Q, or it's the other side down near Moffat. Uh, so that, that's the only sort of downsides. Uh, another thing that we've got done is we've booked in for MOT in Lanark, which is about 15 miles from here, and they're going to do a handbrake on the brakes and do the MOT there and do us a full service on the actual van itself so that's now booked in for the 3rd of September um, yeah so pretty much that's all we've been doing really is just doing jobs on the van and walking around with the dog and enjoying ourselves and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so we'll catch up with you later I just hope that our luck starts to change for the better a little bit. Because, uh, yeah, we can't continue with ups and downs. We've got to get it sorted once and for all. So, anyway, catch ya a bit later on. My impatience got the better of me once again. You know what? We now have no fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just coming in. <laughs> We've uh, tried, been trying everything with it, and it's got on my nerves so much I've taken it out. So, what we're going to try and do. <laughs> Sorry about the darkness. Right, but apparently, if you turn them upside down, which I've done, it's very dark in here, and I do apologise. I've turned it upside down. And apparently if you tap all these, if there is a blockage, that's the shelves inside, <laughs> if there is a blockage, you can dislodge it. <laughs> I 
because it did seem to be on the fridge side of things. And we heard a massive gurgle when I turned it upside down, didn't we? Yeah. But while we've got it out, we're going to give this all a good clean. Yeah, it would uh, make quite a nice wardrobe, this, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> apparently, you've got to replace these as well. Oh, I see, that's the plug socket there. Look, yeah, that one. Mm. Okay, so while it's upside down and trying to do his thing, <laughs> we're going to hoover this up and uh, then put it back in to see if we can get it working again. And if it works, we'll bring you back. If it don't, then I'm afraid we've worked out the only way of getting that fridge out of that motorhome is through that door. So we might have to take the seats out, which will be a real nuisance. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of a struggle at first. Once you get the uh, once you get the screws out the side, there's um, six screws you have to take out. But one tool I would recommend you have if you are going to do it, the Phillips Phillips screws. Definitely have one of these little magnets because without it you ain't getting them screws to come right out of the way But with the magnet we did it so Anyway, we'll bring you back let you know how it works if it don't work We lost nothing because it's got to come out So so else. we can have the uh, 240 fridge delivered here because it's on offer today you see for uh, 180 quid and uh, 25 quid for them to take the old one away, so but yeah, we'll bring you back. Oh well, fingers crossed. This is where the old top test gas detector is going to come in handy. Now earlier on, when I first put it back, it did leak. And this picked it up straight away. I've reseated the olive. And it's running on gas at the moment. And it seems fine. Yep, that's not leaking. So all we need to do now is wait about 12 hours <laughs> to see if it gets cold again. If not, we at least know now that... But I'll tell you what, I've kind of lost confidence anyway in that fridge, so we no matter what happens, we know that at some point, whether it's right now or in a while, we're going to have to swap it out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It does make you lose confidence, in it? But it's been a good thing because, A, the cubby hole that the fridge fits in was absolutely mank. <laughs> and that has had a really good clean. So, and we know the fridge comes in and out with relative ease. And we also know we've done everything that all the forums say. We've kicked it, bashed it, turned it upside down, <laughs> done everything you can imagine. So yeah. If it doesn't work now, then we know we've tried everything. Yeah, that's we've... true. But we do know one thing. I learnt one thing today. <coughs> I googled, can I cut the fridge in half to get it out? And uh, the answer is no because of free on gas <laughs> anyway so but looking at it i think we can get it out through the passenger door with a bit of a with two of us and a bit of a struggle they're not that heavy believe it or not no, once not. you take all the shelving out of it that um yeah it came out reasonable but once it was out it's yeah quite easy to move around so good stuff anyway we'll let you know tomorrow how we're getting on <laughs> big day tomorrow loads of amazon stuff coming so we should be able to finish the diesel eater off if it turns up on time by the weekend really 
and uh, hopefully we might even have a fridge back. See you in the morning. <laughs> what a rubbish weather, isn't it? <laughs> I am, mate. This is Tony and his lovely wife, Debbie. She's in there somewhere. She's in there somewhere. She's in there somewhere. But I wanted to wanted to show you, Tony's got a really good hack. If your doors like this keep uh, keep falling on your head like ours do, a little hole in there, and it's a welding rod, right? You said I just use a welding rod. Yeah, and then just just drill a hole in there, and then that side, and there you go. Save you getting a sore head. Yeah, so you have to try and get them out as well because they're mm, notorious yeah. for getting stuck, yeah. aren't they? Well, as I said, the other side is a brand new one. Yeah. And that's worse than this. Yeah. Down. <laughs> oh, right, well. <coughs> oh, you, there's Debbie. <laughs> yeah. And we're really pleased that these guys have come back because Lorna forgot to press record the last time they were here. <laughs> so you just come back from the Highlands, haven't you? Mm. Yeah. yeah, we so, are. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey. Um, Another mod I'm going to do. We've been using this for getting the water in. All oh, right, yeah. I'm going to take a feed from the battery, and I'm going to have uh, one of these little twelve volt sockets. Yeah. In here. In here, yeah. So I can just connect it into there. Yeah. I was going to fit it under there, but then I thought it's in the weather, so I'm going to put it in there. Yeah, that's the idea, isn't it? I've got the bits to do it. Yeah, as comes mm. with a. A weird two pin thing, mm. but if that is ever goes, goes, I don't feel about replace it. Is yeah, 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 we yeah. had that on the other one, yeah, we didn't we? Uh, but, yeah. yeah, no, I think that's a better idea. Oh, another little job I've got to do. What's that? Well, we went on to gas, didn't we? Yes, and I went like that, and I pulled that. Oh, so oh, look so, at that. Yeah, the same as the mine. Come on. Exactly the same as mine. I had to put some matchsticks in mine. Well, what I was thinking of doing was getting the um, sticker flex because it doesn't have to come off, does it? Not if you're not on gas, no. No, I mean the actual plate behind it. The plate don't, no. No, so no not unless, sticker flex it back. Not unless you get a leak like ours where mm. we had to take it no. off. But uh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's I didn't think of that. Yeah, sticker flex. I could have done it with mine. the jobs list. Yeah. <laughs> Another jobs list. Yeah, and the step is worked perfect while we've been away. But as soon as we arrive home on the path, yeah. it has a mind of its own. Apparently, I read today someone said there's a little black box up underneath here somewhere. Oh, yeah, underneath there. If you take the wires out, yeah, they're, and they're slightly corroded, mm. give them a clean, and it that sorts yeah. it out. So yeah, I think I need to lift it up and get under and have a look at that. I did stick my head under once to have a look, but uh, it started to work again. Yeah. So I'll put that yeah, just, back yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, oh, with these things, yeah, you may have come across these. Yeah. These. yeah. They're like stick on, and they've got 135 decibel. Oh, right. Oh, that's a natural alarm, is it? Yeah, there's a little switch on it. Yeah. And if someone was trying to get in the door, say at night time, and they knocked the door, yeah. he did that. It would set the, the alarm off. Oh, right. Where'd you get them from? Um, uh, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Oh, right. Anyway, mm. we get four for so much. Two, two for 12 or 14 pounds or something like that. That's and good. And we have the batteries in them as well. So we put one on each of the all windows. On the window. yeah. One on the door. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a good idea. I mean, as as is alarmed oh. up, we can, mm -hmm. we can set it so that we can walk around inside. But if yeah, we open the door, yeah, oh, that's door. a great idea. We'll it's just another that. little security, yeah. Thing, isn't it? You know, just to protect you, really. So, especially at night time, if you're locked in, inside it, you won't have the alarm on, will you? No, so these are little deterrents, yeah. So start yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because apparently, I've been told by my friend Eddie, he said, if you got these, I don't know whether you've got one on yours, but the lock that goes over, yeah, yeah, you got one, yeah. Ah, right, because what they do, they grab that on the Yankee. And it distorts all the side of the van. Oh, right. So you end up with a lot more damage. Yeah, of course, yeah. We were thinking Makes of getting, getting one. I go and get one of those things. Yeah. We were thinking of getting one. But, uh, <laughs> He's gorgeous, boy. Yeah, we, one. we were going to get one, but then we thought, well, you're the Malenko ones. Yeah, that's what we got, yeah. So Malenko one. 
Yeah, you never thought of it that way. That they yeah. would. Yeah. Yeah. I watched uh, on the uh, forum today. Mm. There's a guy on on the other window, the other side, and they showed you the two people knitted filmed on CCTV. His mm. van being nicked. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's minutes, and they're in. Mm. I've seen them. Yeah, that so it goes in between your lock, doesn't it? Yeah, it stops them from getting in. Yeah. Mm. They're clever, they aren't they? No. Oh, I've made that out of, uh, well, I got it. So how do you fit it then? Yeah, I'll have to show you. Let's have a quick look at this. Come on in, get in. Come on in. (laughs) Hello, gorgeous. You never know. (laughs) You just step in a minute, I can show you. You sure? Yeah. You have to do it from the inside. (laughs) All right. Um, Once it's in there, I start. Uh, once you know how to do it, that's it. All oh, right. And, and now that try, stops from pulling it open. Trying to open it, there's one open it that does rip the door apart, basically. Oh, brilliant! And it's it's um, you can put one. On the top and the bottom, I tend to just use the top one. The top one, one yeah. It's all we need, isn't it? Do you want to use it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thanks, son. Huh? Uh, We've got one. We've got, we have two made. Yeah. 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 Just one. Just the same the, door, isn't it? Yeah, you buy them in plastic. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, friend. I saw on a Facebook yeah. site somewhere. He asked me if I could um, get some made at work when I used to work for Wizard Tobars. Yeah. That's brilliant. So, yeah. Well, thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> you like your people come bearing gifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've heard the one about the the, the, the arm on the uh, door, haven't you? You can buy an updated one. All oh, right, no. Because these are useless on these, aren't they? Yeah. They don't do nothing. You can buy another one. Um, oh, what the what the arm that comes out to keep it open? Yeah, sort of the, thing. the damper. Yeah. 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 I didn't know no you way. could get an updated one, though. You can, yeah. Because there's no catch, is there? Like no, the caravan, no, that's right. Then. Yeah, we tie ours back with a. We've got a sucker yeah. thing we put on. Yeah. See, we're t- we're turning this into auto, auto trail car park. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another Brilliant. thing, yeah. earth straps. Earth straps. Your engine. Right. They suffer badly with earth problems. Right. Now my friend was telling me that that could be the issue with the step. Oh, right, so yeah. I know earth. earth straps cause a lot of problems that you don't think they would. Yeah. He's for extra earth straps under the bonnet on the edge. Right. To the chassis. That's what I'm remembering. When you're having, next time a look at your batteries, yeah. there's a um, spare like bolt, and you can he's put an extra earth strap to the, to, to to the, the actual to the battery. To the battery. <laughs> yeah. Right, oh, well, I'll have a look mm-hmm. at that. Uh, cool. Some of these jobs have done, some I haven't. Oh, that's some brilliant tips there. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, cool. So, yeah. So. Oh, well, I've got one of these. Have you seen these? Have you got a slide door? Yeah. It's a... Uh, oh, yeah. It oh, no, no, no. I was looking for one. Mm. Oh, that, ah, right. Lock them out. And it just uh, stops them from... Yeah, because that's the, the one. No, I've, I've mm. got the ones for the, you know, the, for the handle mm. ones, but... Yeah. I tried to make something for my own, but I couldn't mm. get it to work. Lock them out, right? I'm going to mm. look that up because that is a window that always concerns me. That one, yeah, because they don't it's, seem to even catch properly, no. do they? You just need a screwdriver and it's open. Yeah, but you yeah. Job getting in yourself. I mean, because I was just you throw a youngster in, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, but well, we've got these. You've probably seen them on the windows as well. Yeah, that's the what we've got them. These yeah, little things, yeah. Those, yeah, that's what we've got them. Yeah, yeah, they work really well, don't they? Yeah, because I think that's the first point of entry is the windows. Isn't yeah, it, it is. That's there. what uh, that one I watched this morning. Yeah, and then they were off and gone. But yeah. oh, thanks for those tips. Anyway, that's okay. And uh, I shall leave you to fill up with your water, mate. I'm going to go and try this now. I'll probably be there for about half. I go, Tony, says that do it again. <laughs> so we'll, I'll catch up with you a bit later. Okay, yeah, <laughs> See you later. <laughs>
obviously some really good tips there. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do this. They just gave us a lock. Yeah, no, it's too dark in here. A lock? Yeah, a lock. Look, that Tony made. You put it in your door, yeah, and it stops the door being open from the outside. They, they, right, there's people nice. selling these online, uh, plastic ones, but this is a metal one. So once that's in, you can't open the door from the outside. Right. All right. But I'll show you how it goes in a minute, because it looks a bit technical. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. We need that well, no, we don't need it with our, no, with our door thing, but you never know if that's going to break mm. or whatever. So, yeah, no, yeah, I was cool. just curious. As to nice to see you guys back anyway. Yeah. So, if you're watching this now, Tony and Debbie, at home, yeah, it was great seeing you. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah, that's the, That's your car out there, look. There you go, <laughs> look. It's like two little red bees. <laughs> The two, the two auto trails and the two red tow cars. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Hope you got home safely, by the way. As I know you you're going in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you got home safely, didn't we? Anyway, I'm gonna go and try with this. Mm -hmm.